us about that night when you were allowed to come back to your house after the fire? Uh, well, we met with the landlord and signed a waiver to uh, uh, be able to go in and um, uh, save them uh, just to deal with the animals. And uh, I, I, we, I got some totes, I filled them up, I conditioned the water uh, from the neighbor's house, and we, um, I was probably here for almost four hours trying to clear out the tanks uh, bit by bit into the totes. Then we took them uh, over to my dad's house who was waiting up for us. And I set them all up with their uh, air pump filters and um, all that, and then checked on them the next day. You, you mentioned there was one in the back that. That was that. Was a, that light. Yeah, that was actually the following night. Okay. So um, tell me about the glass that. was. Uh, I, I just happened to go back there to look at the carnage, and uh, I noticed him at the surface uh, against the glass, and. Um, I went to try to grab him and he sunk back down into the murky water, so I decided to break the glass. Uh, and I tried to use a heavy bookend and the bookend just shattered against the glass. So uh, I went and kept my sledge and I broke open the glass. And once the water washed out, I was able to reach in and grab him because um, otherwise it was all filled with uh, glass even before I broke it open. So you know, I couldn't just reach in there. And this is what, what kind of fish was it? Uh, Medusa Placo, okay. uh, six inch, full adult. Okay. And it's, you're, you're holding this in your hand? Yeah. And then what? Um, I, I picked them up, I cleaned them off in some uh, clean water and then put them into a Tupperware to bring back to the rest of the fish. Okay. 